lady in the room? Yes. myself I wouldn't cry. I mean, <coughs> my name is Eddie Hurtel, tour manager for the House for War. I started with Gore in 2004. I was on Oz Fest with another band doing Devil Driver. And I met this guy named Jeremy Smith. He was mixing, uh, God forbid. He came up to my tour bus and he goes, you tour manager? I go, yeah. He goes, well, I, I do sound for this band called Guar. I'm like, Guar? He goes, yeah, we're looking for a tour manager. And I'm like, sure, I'm, I'm, down, to, I'm down to do it. My vision of war uh, was <laughs> dentist, doctors <laughs> that dressed up on Halloween and went out and made some money. I didn't know they were they were from Richmond. I didn't know anything about them. I didn't know any of their backstory. And I'm like, okay, who manages the band? And I'm like, he goes, uh, this guy named Jack Flanagan. I go, Jack Flanagan. I go, I go, I put Jack Flanagan in tour manager clutch. He goes, well. He doesn't tour manage clutch anymore, he managed the band. I'm like, wow, good for Jack. He also manages Gore. I'm like, wow, that's killer. I go, okay, give him my number. And uh, he did, and I gave Jack a call, and, uh, and he goes, you, he goes, that's so weird that you called, and he goes, I was moving my office, and I was moving the filing cabinet, I don't remember this, Jack. He says, your business card fell off the cabinet, it fell on the floor, and I picked it up. It was your name. So uh, he said, well, I got to have a meeting with the guys because they have a tour manager now. They're not really happy with them. And uh, it's a vote, and I'll get back to you. And I went, that's cool. Uh, about a month past, he called me. He goes, well, we had a vote, and you're in. I'm like, cool. Because our first show's at the uh, Norville, Norfolk. I'm like, OK. So I, I flew in, um, didn't know what to expect. Went up to the office, got my tour books, my line minutes together, and everybody started peeling in. First person I met was Todd, and uh, the second person I met was Dave. Dave looked at me and goes, you're a new tour manager? I said, yeah, Jack hired me. He goes, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what an asshole. And I said, okay, fuck it. Just kept going, kept going, we did our thing. It was weird because I usually mix, but I didn't mix for the first three or four years of Gore. It was Jeremy, who did an amazing job. Yeah. I was just, I was just behind the scenes, seeing everything uh, unfold. And uh, that's when I got a bad respect for Gore. The hardest working band I've ever worked for. No rock stars. No bullshit. They unload their own shit. Help set it all up and everything. As I kept going, Scott Crawl didn't even talk to me for the first year and a half before. <laughs> I, I turned to Dave, I go like, Dave, does Scott hate me? He goes, nah. He doesn't know if you're going to last or not. <laughs> So he's gonna give you the time of day. I said, he's gotta earn your respect. And I'm like, oh, okay. About two years later, he came up to me, he goes, hi, my name is Scott Crawl. I go, hi. My name is Eddie, your tour manager. And ever since then, it's just been a wild ride. It's made me a better tour manager. It sucks. 
that I'm up here, you know, we married Corey two and a half years ago. I still think about him every day. I wasn't on the fall tour, but Dave called me when they played Minneapolis. I was in Russia, and he was crying on the phone, saying how much he missed Corey. Wish I was there. <coughs> I wish I was there too. Just shows him what kind of person Dave was. We all know what kind of Dave person, but he was a fucking asshole. Yeah. He was fucking crazy. We all have our fucking war stories with him. Threatened my life. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Any other band I work with, he goes, you're to a managed war? And I go, yeah, and they go, fuck. <laughs> and, uh, I'd say fuck too, it's crazy. <laughs> Um, Dave was special to me. We spent, a, we spent a lot of nights and a lot of quiet times together. And I got to know the person who Dave was. All the bullshit put aside, the costume put aside. Just who Dave was. I found out who he was. He was a good guy. A lot of people didn't understand him. Like I said, everyone loved Dave except for Dave. <coughs> I just want to think all the members of Quark. Matt McQuarrie, especially Bob Corbin, Scott Grawl. Corey Flynn, Brad Jameson, Casey Moore. Evans. You too, Jack. Thanks. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. They fucking rock you, man. Mr. Mr. Bobby Gorman, ladies and gentlemen.